911, state your emergency. My mom, she's crying. Why is she crying? My dad, she's hitting her. How old are you? Nine. You think he's hitting her? Yeah. My next door neighbor said that to call the police. Oh, honey, I'm sorry. We'll get an officer out there. But can, can you stay on the line with me for a minute? Children who are exposed to domestic violence are at greater risk for neglect and abuse. If they have been witness to domestic violence or have been physically abused, they show increased tolerance not only to be abused but to use violence. We need to break the cycle of abuse in families. The Marjorie Mason Center is extremely important to our community. On a monthly basis, we have about, on average, about 50 children living in our emergency shelter. When children come to our program, they've been through traumatic events in their lives. So I like to say that they're just ordinary children, but they've been through extraordinary circumstances. We have children who could be very aggressive, who um, could cry a lot, as well as children who are very quiet and very shy. The children thrive with positive influences in their lives, and I'm honored when they want to share with me what they've been through because it means that they trust me. That gives me hope that you know, they, they can learn to trust people because there's been so much pain and so much hurt in their lives. The Marjorie Mason Center provides a multitude of services. We work with the children, we work with adults, and with the extended family that's also impacted with the violence. Marjorie Mason Center also offers legal services. So if there's issues regarding restraining orders or custody of children, there's an avenue for them to seek help that way as well. It goes along the whole spectrum, from crisis all the way to recovery.